Here's something I picked up the other day. I don't know if this is actually a new television or one that was rarely used or a warranty return. The box was open when I got it. Okay, cooperate. This is one of those little GE Space Maker 9 inch color TVs. See if we can get this thing open and see what it is here. Well, it looks like it could be new. Here's all the instructions and the power cord and antenna and all that good stuff still sealed in the plastic. So let's get this out of the box and see what we have here. Looking at this TV, I'd say it's brand new. 9 inch color TV, manufactured May 1990. Everything was still wrapped up in the plastic, the under cabinet mounting bracket. The bag containing all the screws and mounting hardware, and the bag containing the power cord. So let's fire this thing up and see what it does. And look, this TV even comes with both VHF and UHF antennas, something you're not going to get with today's modern TVs. Okay, here it is, connected connected to the DTV converter box. Let's push the power button and see what happens. And there we go, we have a picture. Okay, let's see, volume up. Golden Gate Bridge, what a shot that is, San Francisco Bay on this gorgeous Sunday night. Freaking digital signal that rarely ever worked right. It's a lot. Now that you're 18, you're officially 49% owner of my company. Board meetings are every other Wednesday, but you don't have to show up. I never do. My dear Amanda, if you're reading this, then two things have come to pass. It's got these touch pad controls, which I'm really not too crazy about. And sadly, I won't be able to share that life with you. I hope these journals provide answers to the questions you've had all these years. But yep, it works. to Meridian and everywhere in between. Plus, we'll talk to the coaches, players, and fans of Mississippi. And that'll be a big mess if it breaks, and the top of that could break. Okay, there you go. The brand new out-of-the-box you know, so 1990 GE Space Maker 9-inch no, color TV. Thanks for watching, and more to come later. Okay, here it is adjusted for a little better picture. From the factory, they had the uh, brightness, contrast, and color controls uh, turned wide open, so I readjusted those a little bit, and it looks better now. Destroy the Sith. We must. 
You got to love this crappy digital signal. In the old days, I could receive this same station without even an antenna on the television. It might be snowy, but I could still get a watchable picture. Now, even with an antenna, you see what I'm getting, a pixelated, dropped-out mess. So if you wonder why I sometimes hate digital, this is a prime reason right here. Okay, there you go. Thanks for watching, and now I'll try to come up with something else good next time. AT&T introduces...